the in the nights of uh, Qadr and that we hopefully have a successful uh, encounter with the nights of Qadr, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. That's important. نسألك اللهم وندعوك باسمك العظيم الأعظم الأعز الأجل الأكرم وبالقرآن المستحكم وبفاطمة وأبيها وبعلها وبنيها والسر المستودع فيها يا الله 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 يا رحمن يا رحيم يا أرحم الراحمين يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك وكفنا يا قاضي الحاجات ويا كافي المهمات إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد Oh Allah, please forgive our sins Please forgive our mistakes Please enable us to live such a life that we would not be tempted towards sins Please give us such good friends such good companions that their presence in our life would remind us of you and would give us extra energy and extra reason to resist against our temptations please make our homes our gatherings our communities filled with your presence filled with your light please make our Imam Zaman happy and pleased with us please in this month of Ramadan make in your firm decisions in Laylatul Qadr to include us among true followers and inshallah then true helpers of Imam Mahdi Sharif we know that no one can help him without wholeheartedly following him. So we ask you to be true followers and true helpers of Imam Mahdi Sharif. Please keep us and our children, our brothers and sisters and friends on the right path with very firm standpoint so that we don't deviate we don't collapse and we don't make mistakes please give shifa to all illnesses that we have in our body in our mind in our heart in our intentions please give us qalb salim pure and healthy heart please send your rahma in the best possible way to all the prophets and messengers and imams and your true servants especially those who have rights upon us our parents our foreparents our teachers our ulama our maraji our martyrs please in this month of ramadan gift them with extra rahmah and blessing those whose parents are alive we pray for their health for their dignity for their respect for the ease of their affairs for the joy in their hearts and those who have passed away we pray for their ability to be so close to Muhammad and Ali Muhammad that they would be in their constant company and they would be able to help us from there with their prayers inshallah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all people who suffer unjustly help them have a very prosperous life a very dignified and honorable life we ask for those who are poor to be rich we ask for those who are living who live under fear and terror to live with peace with respect with ability 
to have their lives with their children and their entire family and community together under one roof without fear. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help the people who are alone, people who have no others to console them, to comfort them, to be given, inshallah, such people so that their loneliness would come to an end and their suffering would come to an end. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen our unity in all different levels, whether it be unity in family, unity in community, unity in society, unity of believers all over the world, unity of people of goodwill. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us against Satan, who always wants to divide people and insert suspicion and hatred and lack of trust. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use us as his agents for bringing unity, hope, peace, love, compassion in this world, inshallah. May Allah, inshallah, prepare you and me for entering Laylatul Qadr in the best condition, inshallah, with hearts which are cleansed from burdens of sins and from pollution of bad thoughts and intention, bad intentions and revived with istighfar and dhikr inshallah wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillah rabbil alamin